thanks everybody for coming tonight. These, uh, as you can see, uh, like I think I remarked last time that, you know, it's getting, it's getting uh, lighter and lighter out here, which means that we're getting closer and closer to spring. And uh, yet still we find ourselves coming together on a Friday night for an hour to listen to some good music. Uh, um, really great lineup tonight. Like they all, like I, I'm not happy with every single lineup. Uh, certainly happy with this one for a couple of reasons. Um, again, uh, one of the uh, performers, uh, Cohen, uh, came to us. He's living in um, uh, Manitoba in uh, Sieg's Corner, as I said, his own place, which is kind of impressive. Uh, so that's kind of cool. We have a fellow from uh, Manitoba here. And of course, uh, Court is just, uh, as it turns out, just down the street from me here in Sunnyside in Calgary. But we have our uh, Iron Wild has is, uh, is come back to us to perform. And last time he performed, he was in Edmonton. And this time he's performing from all the way out in the East Coast, Halifax, where, where it's a lot darker than it is here. And um, when we were setting up the uh, when we were setting up the lineup, it was kind of funny. I thought I'd have I thought I'd have Court go first and get it off that, and then and then uh, and then uh, Iron comes and he says, "Well, Keith, do you mind if I go first? I said, "Well, I don't mind." And he goes, "Well, because I'm staying in an Airbnb, and they have sound restrictions after 10 p.m." So he's gonna he's gonna go first, and hopefully he'll be able to continue his quarantine at that residence and he won't be uh, kicked out of there, but thanks for that, uh, Iron. That's a big risk you're taking, but uh, it's, that's, that's pretty good. So um, uh, for those of you who have never been here before, uh, artists performing live need an audience and you to see live audience, to see live arti <laughs> artists need to see artists perform. So you can see the artists perform but it's kind of nice if they see you as well, so they know that it's, the world is more than just a bunch of black screens. So if you can find it in your heart to turn on your, uh, to turn on your cameras, uh, we're all equal here. We have the same uh, nose hair and uh, dishevelment, although some of you are looking better than others, I gotta say. But don't worry about putting on the cameras because we're in this, the, all in the same boat. But uh, I know that the artists really appreciate that. Um, the other thing is, uh, as per tradition, you're all muted, not because uh, I don't want to hear you clap, but it just makes it a nightmare for me, uh, pressing buttons and trying to make sure we get the sound from the artists, not from the, uh, not from the audience. Hey, Janet. So um, for anybody that's been here before, could you show the others how we clap? I like that. Yeah, just because I am who I am. Technique, a little close to the ears. Matthew, not so high up. Oh, that's okay. You're far from the cat. There you go. A little closer to the ears. Okay, Sean, I didn't see you. Sean and Lori, that's okay. That's all right, good. So this is, I think, I, I should be corrected. This, I think this means wow. But of course, we know that this... Thank you. This means round of applause. These things I'm learning. So you now have your uh, options to go uh, a number of different ways to show, uh, to show uh, you know, appreciation to these artists. So before we get going, I just want to kind of jump into something. Um, I got a note here in, uh, in the text. Actually, uh, I got a note in the text saying, uh, did I cut my hair because of COVID? Well, thanks for noticing anybody that noticed I cut my hair kind of because of COVID, because ever since COVID started, of course, I've been, um, like many of us, been living and, well, working with my spouse, Barbara. And uh, we spend many hours a day together, and then many evenings and mornings and mornings and evenings and afternoons together. And uh, as a result of COVID, and Barbara said, uh, please cut your hair, Keith. So I think that's partially in results of being part of COVID. And actually, there's another thing I wanted to share with you. Just bear with me. Right. So I've got, a, I've got an email saying, uh, Dear Keith, uh, I noticed on this, last, um, 
on this last uh, invitation, you said, uh, uh, very good music, was that a typo? So a couple of things about that. Uh, it, wasn't, uh, it wasn't really a typo because, um, well, first of all, that email came from a millennial uh, of my acquaintance who's an engineer, and I'm really proud, first of all, that, uh, of course, that they can string a sentence together and spell. So first, that was a real big, that was a real big positive feedback for me is that, of course, he noticed that there was a spelling mistake. But then being a millennial, he might not have noticed who, <laughs> don't shake your head, Steve, he might not have noticed who uh, Chuck Berry is. He might not know that. So, of course, that was a dad pun because I'm one of those on Chuck Berry. So, Berry, good music. It's all I got. I'm my only copywriter. So, so Jack, uh, that wasn't a spelling mistake. That was just a bad dad joke. And there's one more something like a fan email that came in. Yeah, the subject line is um, more accordion, question mark. And it says, Keith, are you going to play more accordion? I really, really like that part. And it's signed, uh, signed Keith. So, uh, so Keith, uh, I am going to play some more accordion but to give people something to look forward to and make sure that everybody comes back. That's not going to be till late April, but I got three tunes lined up. So uh, there we go. Nothing but accordion. So enough talk. We got to get this, uh, we got to get this show on the road because we got to make sure that uh, we can get uh, iron playing quickly. Let's see, where did you, where'd you go? Oh, all right, I got to find you. Did you skip screens on me? Geez, this is crazy. <laughs> I can't find you. <laughs> oh, there you are. <laughs> I've asked you to unmute and uh, now you're on spotlight. Did I ask you? Yes. Yes. I, so you should have got a signal to say unmute. Let's see, let's see, I'm going to take you off spotlight. Sorry, buddy. I'm trying to find my way back to you here. Did you get a, let's see, view, gallery view. I'm going to move you back. Sorry, buddy. I got to do that again. Uh, okay, there we go. Sorry, my friend. Now I'm asking you to unmute. No worries. Is that working? <laughs> it sure. I'm not working, and you are. That's perfect. No, that wasn't your fault at all. That was my fault. Um, no. Bad habit of meetings. I went to unmute myself, and it like unmuted me and then muted me. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, oh well, shoot, you have to ask me to do it again. I and and for so. If I may interject one more time, <laughs> Zoom isn't particularly friendly to musicians. And there's some things on Zoom that make it profoundly counterintuitive. And every time that we do this, we have to work it through because it's very, it's, it's very, uh, anyway, I, I, bear with me. Is your original sound on or off? It shows is off, so it is on. Thank you. <laughs> so before we go, I want, I got a question for you. And everybody's going to get this question. Great. Bagpipes or accordion? Bagpipes. Choose. Bagpipes. And then why? I'm in the military. Oh, perfect answer. <laughs> for the military, but... I'm not sure if I'm going to ask you back because on a personal level, that was the wrong answer. But I, know, uh, I knew that was the wrong answer. <laughs> that was good risk, though. Good risk taker there. Come on. The Highlanders are in Calgary. You're right. And, and just for every um, um, irons uh, on the uh, East Coast in Halifax in part, because why? I just want to come check it out. They have some cool music stuff here. And? Yeah, mostly because of the Navy. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> what do you got for us tonight, my friend? Um, I'm going to play a couple originals and a cover, kind of a mix similar to last time. Uh, this first one is a song um, that I, I wrote a while ago, and I don't think I played it last time, so we'll play it tonight. It's called Thanks Forgive so much. Me. I've got nothing to prove, 
nothing to lose You promised me that love and hope from above Would be enough to get me through And I believe you But I can't forgive me I was only seventeen When I gave away everything A stranger with a spark The hole inside my heart Chip on my shoulder from someone's lies After all the mistakes You still find a way to love me I know that you're there I know you still care And I am sorry But I can't forgive me I can't forgive me Barely 21 They told me we were having fun With powder for your nose And more designer clothes We could hide from pain and loneliness After all the mistakes You still find a way to love me I know that you're there I know you still care And I am sorry but I can't forgive me I can't forgive me You're challenging me to live a life free of regret But I can't believe that you would love me After all the things that I said and what's worse, it's all in my head And I can't forgive me I can't forgive me Did you write that? I did, you wrote yeah. that. When when did you write that that tune? I wrote that uh, in the summer, actually. It's beautiful. Huh? Have you have you uh, had a chance to perform it much? I sort of. Uh, I was in a little songwriting workshop, uh, and I I performed it for that. Um, but that's I haven't performed that song a whole lot. It's very beautiful. Very Thank well you. done. Thank you very much. Um, so. The next song I'm going to play is uh, another original, and actually just this afternoon, um, I did the final edits on the mix with the producer, and so I have to listen to the version a couple more times, then we'll, uh, we'll master it, but this one will probably be coming out on uh, Spotify and wherever you get music in, I'm going to say, probably five to seven weeks. It depends on uh, some scheduling stuff, but that's when that'll come out. Very exciting. So it's kind of freshly minted then. The one I'm going to play now, the one I just played, that's not recorded yet. <laughs> right, yeah, but the one you're about to play. Wonderful. Yeah. Okay. Well, well done. Thank you. So this one's called Give Me a Reason. And I just wrote this one in September when I was in uh, Germany. Give me a reason to believe I've been on this path for far too long. Give me a field filled with dreams I feel all alone and in the dark My love has grown so cold we lost the spark I feel the shattered souls and broken hearts Come alive, come alive and bring the stars Open eyes, realize the missing parts Come alive, oh come alive And bring the stars The crying eyes, they realize Their missing parts Give me a reason, set me free I felt so caged 
and torn apart Give me a season of relief My soul has become weary and disbelief This love has grown so cold we lost the spark I feel the shattered souls and broken hearts Come alive, come alive and bring the stars Open eyes, realize the missing parts Come alive, oh come alive and bring the stars Crying eyes, they realize they're missing parts. I pray the day will come when dreams we share will be true. We built our hope on love, we'll find a way. Come alive, oh, come alive, and bring the stars. Open eyes, realize the missing. Come alive, oh, come alive, and bring the stars. The crying eyes, they realize their missing parts. Beautiful stuff. You've got such a fine voice, and it's so well matched to that guitar. Thank you. What, and it's okay, what, the levels? Oh, the levels are fine. Okay. The levels. <laughs> I'm just worried about it now. You know, Keith, just so everyone else knows, Keith gave me at least 45 minutes worth of heck for uh, where the mic was, and we figured out putting it next to the guitar was the best place, and I'm all like hypersensitive. <laughs> Everybody works so hard at indulging me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I'm not sure about that that's uh that's uh that was fantastic tell me in your in your album uh, is there some what, what how did, did is it just you and the guitar or did they do any did you do anything else with that tune so that song that's on it's almost like a pop song actually in its energy that it has in the production ah. um it was when I wrote it it was a very sort of like that like melancholy kind of song yeah, yeah. uh and I still think it has that heart in there but it's I, w I want my songs to be hopeful, and so we tried to make it hopeful in the production. <laughs> well, I can't wait to hear it, and I'll make sure everybody else gets a link to it, too, because I'm sure we'll love to be able to compare and contrast your uh, uh, two different interpretations. So. Yeah, no, for sure. Thank right you. on. Okay, the last one, no more originals from me, so you can actually hopefully uh, start out knowing this song. Uh, this is a Frank Sinatra song. Fly me to the moon let me play among the stars Let me see what spring is like on Jupiter and Mars In other words, hold my hand In other words, baby kiss me Fill my heart with song let me sing forevermore You are all I long for All I cherish and adore In other words Please be true In other words I love you Fill my heart with song and let me sing forevermore. You are all 
I long for All I cherish and adore In other words Please be true In other words I love you Well, you had a few people singing along, I think, on that one, uh, Iron. And and you uh, made that one your own, too, didn't you? Oh, with the whistling. And and I think uh, the the way you sang it, it was it's that was really interesting. I would say it was kind of it was uplifting, but it was still bittersweet. You've got that character to your voice. That was really cool. Well, thank and you it, very much. So we've got like great songs, awesome song. Oh, you killed it. Uh, Carol said you got a nice oldie and I got a beautiful too. So you're you're making friends across Canada right now. That's awesome. <laughs> really, and like this is so cool that Keith puts this on. Like he puts in a lot of volunteer hours to put this on and hangs out with us. And as much as we say he teases us and we give him the gears for it, it's honestly a great thing. And and you folks showing up for this, it's all beautiful. It's wonderful to see some community. Hey, thanks a bunch, and thanks uh, thanks for stepping up. I sure appreciate that, Iron. And let's hear it. Come on, let's look at that. Thanks a lot, buddy. Hey, we'll see you soon, but we'll, we'll touch base soon, all right? Awesome. Thank you. Okay. Thank you so much. Tell us, tell us where you are. I am in Seeks Corner, Manitoba. And I did not make that up. It actually is a real place. I'm glad you fact-checked that. And <laughs> yeah, that's where I am. I didn't actually realize that your little show here took place in where it's Calgary, right? Or Edmonton? That's right. Or? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because it was actually promoted on Manitoba Music's website. And they had like Keith's Friday Night Hoot Nanny. And I was like, hell yeah, I want to do a Hoot Nanny. Let's do this. <laughs> and it wasn't until you like told me, I'm like, oh, that's so awesome. Like, how else would I be pay playing in Calgary right now? Like, this is well, you're awesome. playing in Calgary, you're playing in San Diego, you're playing in uh, you know, uh, Halifax and Victoria and uh, all sorts of places. So, welcome to uh, North America. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. So, I just, I, uh, it's 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 hard enough being a musician and getting the right pedals at the right time and turning the right switches on the keyboard and making sure you're you're in tune and making sure the strings don't snap and making sure you got enough as we talked about nine volt batteries, you know, to for the amp and and again uh, our musicians who are playing through Zoom have yet another layer of complexity, which is is my sound is Zoom gonna stay connected to my network, so. <laughs> And, and so uh, Cohen's in uh, rural Alberta, uh, sorry, rural Manitoba, yeah. and uh, we've had some uh, success uh, with him, but he's also uh, left us for a minute or two, but we're going to stick with you. If you leave us, we're going to wait for you because everybody's going to know you're worth waiting for. So uh, appreciate that. So what are you going to start with? I'm actually going to start with an original of mine here, and it's um, one of my latest tracks. I've got the privilege of uh, doing a mentorship through Manitoba Arts Network as well as Creative Manitoba and it was really like perfect given the time that like there's nothing I can do as a musician right so it was great to work with someone on like writing songs and like what we're gonna do with all this and like how to <laughs> still do shows and everything yeah and uh, yeah it just it made me very hopeful that like even though I'm in like literally the worst time to be a musician both financially and just commercially and everything going on but like I still, you know, I got the heart and I want to keep doing this. And uh, yeah, this first one here is uh, called uh, Burnout. I'm old enough to feel it. I'm old enough to dream that I once thought I may have lost along the way. Now for a miracle Maybe I will find my way back home After all of these years away And every time has 
a lot of passion through those skinny rural uh, internet connections there, Colin. That was beautiful. Thank you very much. <laughs> it's, it's coming through though pretty good, right? Oh, it's sounding real good. It oh, sounded real good. So what are you up to now? What, what do you got going on there? All right, so here's <laughs> something a little more exciting going on. So one of the bigger parts of my shows now is that I do this thing called looping. So for anyone who's not a musician or doesn't know what that is, it's basically, I have this pedal here. I would show you, but then I have to rearrange anything. It's just like, <laughs> it's a box and it's got three different things. Excellent. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. <laughs> oh, Mike is just excited that you've got a bass. He's like a, you know, so. <laughs> yeah. Appreciate it. Appreciate the love. And yeah, so it's just a box and it's got three different pedals here and it's like just a different tracks. Um, also, I don't know if it came through, but I have a vocal harmonizer. So any of the parts that sound like really full of vocals, that's the pedal there too. Then I got a piano that I, and drums here that I work in, the bass and all these different instruments. And they basically just go into this box and it kind of gives me this, you know, band sound because, well, I'm from rural Manitoba, so there's not really a lot of people to jam with. So I'm just like, well, screw them. I'm going to jam with myself. Let's do this. So <laughs> I just created like my own band here, you know? Whereas, well, it's like you had said in the write-up, you know? You don't have to pay these guys, you know? I'm going to get $350. That's, that's in my pocket. I'm not giving up. Oh, now I got like 20 bucks, you know? Okay, let's go to McDonald's, I guess, you know? You know the, the, the last gig we played, uh, Stephen King, 
paid the bar tab with our earnings that night. And he had only had a $20 bar tab. So anyway, that's another story. <laughs> but I, I don't want you to, uh, it's hard to overestimate the amount of work and uh, to, to run a looper pedal. So I just want to, I just want to make sure everybody understands that you lay down a track and I know you've done some tracks before, but you're not, this isn't banned in a box, man. No, uh, uh, Cone's laying down a track, then laying down another track, then laying down another track. And then he's switching between those different tracks. It's, it's extraordinarily difficult to do. It's also extraordinarily difficult to do live. So I'm going to stop talking. I think this is amazing. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Like when I first started, it was just crazy trying to, because I got like the pedals and then I got the vocal harmonizer too. So thinking when that needs to come, then playing an instrument and singing and it's a lot. But uh, yeah, like you said, uh, I have a few of the tracks pre done just for time wise, because this song could take up to like 10 minutes to record because it's just so many different parts. So I'm going to start off with whatever I recorded. I just recorded it about half an hour prior so that it's in here. So you're going to hear some synths. You're gonna hear a few drum things and then we're gonna kick it off the bass and then just watch watch the song come together. Can't wait. This one's uh by the 1975 and it's called Somebody Else.
touch your body, but I picture in your body is funny, yes. Technology, but so musical. <laughs> Very cool. Thank you. <laughs> I just, you know, it's it's tough enough just being up there with a guitar and a mic, man. And you were just. <laughs> yeah, I'm bringing the whole whole shebang. <laughs> you are indeed. Thanks so much. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah, you've got a That's So Catchy, great tune. you got an Aces Mate from Iron, and Heather and Ed gave you an awesome. And you got a very cool. All right, yeah. Appreciate it. Yeah, and if you like that kind of stuff, uh, you know, follow me on your socials, and I'm posting stuff, and uh, yeah. You, know. you got it. Doing great job, looping of the news thing, talk to Bruce. Yeah, no, and looping, it's really like, I don't want to play myself up, but like, it was really hard when I first started. Like, I've had this pedal since I was like, 12 like i'm 19 now i didn't really start using it until i was like maybe 15 or 16. it was just it was just so hard like if you're off by just the slightest bit your whole loop is just off like this was pretty easy because i had some parts pre-looped yeah. but like i usually just start from scratch right i just start with the just a drum and then put the bass and then all that and if you miss up one thing well it's like okay let's start crying yeah. and start over <laughs> Steven, Steven has played with a, a pedal live and a, a, a looping pedal live and uh, built it up. And it's, it's extraordinarily uh, vulnerable and uh, tricky. It's just a real commitment to the art. It's, it's a remarkable thing. So that's amazing. Appreciate it. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, I'll get to my last song here. Um, this is a cover song. I was trying to decide which songs to play here. And uh, I haven't played this one in a long time, but um, I, just show, I wanted to showcase different things here, you know, I got my acoustic singer-songwriter, that's what I write, I got these looping songs, and they can range from different genres, and then I have a little thing I do here on the guitar, a little drumming, and uh, I got inspired to do this by uh, a Phil Collins song, and it's got this epic drum 
part in it. I think, you know the song, if you know Phil Collins, you know the song. Oh yeah, and I was like, I want to do that live. And anyway, here it is. This one's called In the Air Tonight. Listen, uh, Cohen, what an absolute treat having you come. And thanks again for going to that website and putting up your hand and saying you were going to come here. Look at this. We got great job on a real classic, A Star is Born. Great take and a great song. So creative. There's nothing like being called creative as a musician. That's wonderful. Absolutely. Like, if I can't do it better than the original, I may as well just do something, right? Like, <laughs> you made it your yeah, own. Boring just to do it the same as the artist. It's like, just go listen to Phil Collins if you want that. Like, For I sure. 
Although that. I must admit, a lot of us were doing that, but that's okay. It's just it's kind of in our DNA. Fantastically <laughs> mad delicious. I don't think either of those are words. Um, love the percussion from Heather and Ed. You know, two classics and made it their own. Really nice. You got a lot of love in there. <laughs> that's fantastic. Oh, I wonder if we're losing you. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> Yeah, well, I think we're losing him. That's perfect. <laughs> yeah, yeah the, the internet just went on you a little bit. That was perfect timings. Yeah. <laughs> Cohen, yeah, on that. thanks so much. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Everybody, let's give it one more round of applause for the, for the, the man. Right on. And, Thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate it so much. And uh, I hate to get selfish here, but you got a lot of guitars and you got a lot of great pedals and how come I, how come you get all these and I only I'm allowed to have four keyboards and one accordion. It's just, just, just not fair. I mean, other yeah, than you I, got talent and I don't, but still it's like all about the gear, I man. I acquired all these before I met my girlfriend. And I, <laughs> I don't think I bought a guitar since. Um, okay. Yeah. All right. That's uh, so much for that idea. I thought I'd work, work the angle here, but it's not going to work out for me. Hey, Cohen, fantastic set, musical and creative. So thanks a bunch for that. Thank you so much. And yeah, Iron, wow, that was so awesome. If you want to go on tour, hit me up. Iron Court <laughs> Soundcheck, it's going to be awesome. Stick around, everyone. Just, just, I'm so glad to be a part of this. <laughs> Thank you. All right, Court. Hello. Well, welcome. Boy, it's been quite a night tonight. What an awesome show. I, I mean, Iron, like, kicking it off with some sweet tunes, that bittersweet voice, and uh, Cohen with all those loop pedals. I mean, I'm uh, it, it's thrilled to be sharing the stage here. And I've got my uh, my helicopter headset on, too, so I'm like, ready to go in, right? Have some fun here. And I, I can hear you. I think you actually do have original sound on, don't you? I've got, yeah. I mean, if you mean that I have it off, I've got it, it says, on. It says, turn off original sound, right? That's what it says. Yeah. So, so I got it on. That's perfect. <laughs> Let's not confuse the audience. That's no, you're right. You're right. That's for sound check. So what are you doing for us? By the way, I just wanted to say that Court lives like a block away from me which is not Halifax at all. So we, we're like spanning. Well, this is a good like prairie, you know, East Coast set. You know, we understand the BC is there, but it's on the other side of the mountains. It's kind of just an idea for us here. It's not really a place. So I'm just uh, really happy that we're representing uh, at least two thirds of the nation here tonight. So. <laughs> oh yeah, we're going cross oh. coast to coast. Oh, no, well not coast to mountains okay i just got a note from iron he goes keith you didn't ask anybody else bagpipes for the accordion i didn't want to i certainly didn't want to tax cohen with that question he had too much going on and i'll just make it quick with you court you know what the answer is but i'm gonna ask it anyway uh accordion versus bagpipes accordion right uh, accordion well, accordion right <laughs> well I, I, it was scottish background don't you think uh, but but bagpipes. it's accordion right uh, bagpipes? You're like you're thinking maybe accordion. <laughs> Probably. Uh, amazing Grace? <laughs> <Bag> <laughs> okay, it's the wrong crowd for me tonight, but... But you know, the accordions, it's, it's, it's got some... Kill In the Zydeco, New Orleans, Yeah, too, li Zydeco. too little... Yeah, forget it. Too little, too late, oh, buddy. Too little. <laughs> <laughs> so Sweet. sing for us. All right. Well, you know what? It's it's great timing because uh, about a year ago I was doing uh, performances each night. Uh, it was the shortest concert ever. It was a one song concert every night at about eight o'clock. So it's eight o'clock now. We're going overtime. Oh. It, you know. Yeah, I know. Uh, That's but stick me. around. Keith likes to talk. It's okay. <laughs> it's doing great. <laughs> Great songs coming. So I got my balcony door open. So just reliving <laughs> old times. Maybe we'll we'll, cat, we'll conjure up a crowd out there. So, um, but uh, this first song. Yeah, I, actually, you know what? I'm gonna be, because we're playing at home. I I just want to 
it's so cool because I can look around my house and pull things uh, into the show that you you know you couldn't do it live. So what I'm showing you here, this is this is called a bombija, and and it comes from Argentina and it's got a metal straw in there and they pack this thing full of what's called mate and uh, like just right full and then they carry around these thermoses and they'll go and what the Argentinians do is they'll just they'll gather up a crowd strangers and they'll just sit down and it'll be mate time and they'll start pouring a mate and they'll each take a sip and pour the water and the mate and the bombija around and it's a really community thing like I mean you, you, you wouldn't imagine doing that right now <laughs> <laughs> but like it's it's it, you sit around and you share a tea with everybody you know that maybe you've just met for the first time it was so a very social thing well, and let's share it's, a little sociables it's, it's to cheers to to keith what you're doing here no, to you guys it's the musicians thing so it's great to iron wine it's all for the music friends iron wild and uh, cohen uh, you know so but uh, here, you know, I, I guess a uh, segue to that, uh, you know, I did a lot of traveling when I was younger, and uh, Iron's doing a lot of traveling, and, and I, I, I met a lot of people who, who uh, do a lot of traveling, and so this, this song goes out to them, who uh, those transients in the world, um, keeping the big dreams alive. This is called Wide-Eyed Dreamer. dreamers under the starry skies wandering around the world quiet like a satellite way out from where you are and all of the places you've been what can that wild mind When did you write that, Court? Uh, I wrote that, that. That's been a while ago now. I'm unlike these two two uh, 
I don't know. I'm going to say Young Bucks. I don't know. Yeah, you're loud. <laughs> no, Young Bucks. He's, he's whippersnappers. Hey, you guys. <laughs> no, I'm not that old. Yeah, come on now. Um, yeah, that one was written a while ago. I was out at, uh, I did a, a residency out at the Banff Center um, a few years ago, and I wrote that uh, that song out there. That and, is such a special place, and you get to meet other musicians and other artists. It's just a magical place, isn't it? it it's just a melting pot of all things creative, um, ideas, inspiration, you know, connections. You know, it's the, the synapses of the uh, collective mind are really firing out there. Did you get uh, one of those little, um, little tiny cabins that they have? You like know, for- I was... In- I know what you're talking about. Yeah, I was yeah. in the I was in a main center there, but I did get my own big space, huge room. I got a guitar, I got an amplifier they set me up with. We go in there, just crank it to ten, turn everything up, you know, and just let her rip and have a good time and, and nice. me you know, there was people from uh, uh, Ireland doing like ancient Celtic tunes. Uh, there were people from New York there. There was a, a guy from Israel uh, who was doing um, contemporary piano. Uh, it was, it was amazing. So it was a wonderful wonderful experience. And, and one thing that we would do every night, we would, uh, the, um, the the guy, the guy from Israel, he would, uh, he loved fires. And so the place where we were staying in, we all stayed in the same, same, uh, unit. Um, we each had our, we shared rooms even. So it was really an intimate setting. Uh, at night, and um, I had to get a lot of earplugs because then my roommate snored quite. Uh, <laughs> it wasn't me, swear to God, it was, it was my roommate. <laughs> but, anyways, we would create a fire every night, and we'd all just pile into the old fire room, and this big hearth of heat would be pumping out. And um, that's something that I really think about, and, and we really shared a lot of time around that fire. So, um, uh, you know. So that's my time at the BAM Center. This song I also wrote out there as well. So um, maybe maybe the the old man in the song is sitting by the fire. Who knows? But here we go. This called this song's called "Old Man in a Chair." He's just an old man in a chair, like a sheet on the line. That was left outside I've been no one's home To bring it in The garden's all overgrown And an empty room Fills the window But then he crosses his legs again With his eyes he leans in he says, what you doing with your time? What's the matter, can't you decide? He's just an old man in a chair Like a sheep on the line that was left outside oh but no one's home to bring them in the garden's all overgrown and a rusted tricycle is in the window but he always has something to say Wraps his hard nails on his cane He says Last minute Charlie's chasing the sun They will never get anything done He's just an old man He's just an old man in a chair Oh, I'm in a pipe dream I'm in a pipe dream
Just milking the sound out of that one, man. <laughs> that was such a pretty tune. Such a wonderful metaphor is in there. The sheet, oh, like the sheet you. on the line, mm. that just hits you right between the eyes, that one. Yeah, wow, yeah, yeah. Beautiful. Sorry about that, Keith. I didn't mean to hit you so hard. <laughs> no. Well, look at that. I got gray hair and you don't. So it's, uh, it's yeah. well deserving to be hit uh, between the eyes on that one. And, and there's something really interesting that you may or may not know is that we're picking up some ambient sound from the, from the road. And it's oh, really sweet. adding, it's very interesting. It's almost, it's, a, it's like somebody else noticed it as well. But it's like, oh yeah, Iron he said, the, the, it sounds like a breeze in cars. It's, it almost sounds like you're at a, like a water near water. So it's, it's quite interesting. It's a beautiful sound you got going on there, Court. Well, that's awesome. Well, thank you. Well, I do have to thank you for the sound because this mic here, uh, because we live so close, Keith was kind enough. After about eight hours of me trying to <laughs> figure out sound, um, and I just figured out my, my computer couldn't handle the bandwidth of what I was trying to do with the uh, my system. So he's like, well, I just have one mic. How about I bring it to you? <laughs> Yes. Well, it's a communal mic. I, I cleaned it off before I gave it to you, and I'll, <laughs> I'll, I'll put it in quarantine for a couple of weeks before I uh, use it myself. But that's uh, what a beautiful, pretty song. Thank you for that. Well, thank you. So, um, and as with the tradition with the uh, with Iron and Cohen, I am going to sing a cover song for this for this last um, uh, for my last song here. So, um, another Nilsson tune. Another some more Harry Nilsson. You know, oh, this is it. Well, close. It's uh, close to the area. This is on, you know, instead of like um, uh, you sort of New York style, I'm going over West Coast here, Laurel Canyon kind of era. Oh. Um, and this, he's a great songwriter. He's still alive and touring. And uh, this is Chris. Uh, is it Chris? Jackson Brown. Oh. And it's talking about Laurel Canyon, there's an astoundingly good doc about Laurel Canyon. Yeah. With, Have you um, seen it? Jacob it's got, Dylan. It's everybody who was anybody from the birds to everybody else was in Laurel Canyon. It's like the crucible of folk music or whatever that was. The, the birds were in uh, in the 60s and uh, Yeah, and Crosby, 70s. Stills, Nash, and Young, and Joni Mitchell, and <sighs> oh man. Yeah. Jeez. Jeez. What crazy. a time. What a time. And we're just creating that right now. <laughs> well, here, this song's called Running Out, Running on Empty, and uh, we may all be feeling that right now, you know, after the last year, so. We're looking out at the road, rushing under my wheel. Looking at those fields go by like all summer years. Wait a second, I gotta start again. I got those lyrics wrong and I just feel I owe it to this song. Here we go. Two, three. Looking out at the road, rushing under my wheels. Looking around at the fields go by like all those years. Got it wrong again. Could somebody type in the lyrics for me there? I can't believe I'm forgetting these lyrics. I apologize to everybody here. We just want to hear your voice, man. We don't care what you say. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, I feel so silly right now. Do not. <laughs> yeah. Looking out on the road, rushing. I'll just go for it. Looking out at the road, rushing under my wheels. Look at all of those fields go by like all those years. Now I was ah, running up 101. We'll do that the whole song. Running on, running on empty. Running out, running wild, We're running into the sun, but I'm running behind. Gotta do what you 
can just to keep your love alive Try not to confuse it with what you do to survive Look around for the friends that I used to turn to to pull me through Looking into their eyes, I see they're running to Running on, running on empty, running on To believe well, I don't know about anyone but me If it takes all night That'll be alright If I could get you to smile Before I leave Looking out at the road Rushing under my wheel I don't know how to tell you Just how crazy this life feels Look around for the friends that I used to turn to to pull me through Looking into their eyes, I see they're running to Running on, running on empty, running on Stick around, but I'm running behind. I'm running wild, running into the sun, but I'm running behind. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm sure everybody could hum at home. They could hum along with me. Let me hear you now. Everybody could use a little humming every once in a while. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I saw the <laughs> KD, I saw your lighter going there. <laughs> Court. Thank you. <laughs> you. You made it to the end, and I guess did. what? And guess what? Everybody was singing along anyway. They probably couldn't hear you in the first place. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> What's he doing? He's getting even those alerts. And yeah. the other thing is, nobody cared what you were saying. We just wanted you to keep singing. <laughs> just keep singing. Oh, I'll do it. <laughs> you got to be there. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta love and uh, you got a lot of loving here too. It's like uh, this guy Joe Moreau. I don't know if you know him. He said, "Man, Court, you have such a great groove." And yeah. for once, I'm going to agree with Joe as much as it pains me. <laughs> he is, uh, yeah, great vibe, man. You got it going on, Court. I think. Had you not said anything, we all would have just gone bopping yeah. along with you, baby. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I should have just kept. No, no, no. And and yeah, let's see. Uh, um, uh, Memphis said, you know, it happens to everybody. He's been there before. We all have. <laughs> Thanks, Memphis. Appreciate the love. Appreciate the love, Memphis. Yeah. Well, that is a uh, that is a great way to uh, end another Friday night hoot nanny. That's a kitchen party, right? We're all just... It, it kind just, of is. We're just, we're just in it, right? You're just... Once the song goes, you just get her. Yeah, yeah. and you you were, you were took us all where we wanted to go. Uh, all you guys tonight, all the musicians, a special thanks. Uh, I just... I, I, I know I've mentioned it, but I can't overstate that it takes a lot of work to get nice sound through these skinny little wires that we're working with and this stupid, you know, it's... Yeah, it's... <laughs> It's Zoom used for good and not evil, and uh, I uh, it, I really appreciate the first of all musicians for putting their hands up and saying I'll do this. So so thanks a ton, you guys. You were the best, and uh, 
uh, you know, you, you wonder when you're putting a lineup together, three, you know, males with guitars and stuff. We had such variety tonight, and you all made your own little unique mark, and you kept us all, like, pinned to the screen, and you kept our ears pricked up and listening. So thanks so much. You all, you're all such incredible musicians, and, and uh, we're really uh, honored that you uh, shared your night with us. So everybody, <laughs> thanks for a fantastic, fantastic evening. And I am going to call it a night. Stay well, drive home safely, <laughs> drink some, what do, you, what do you call that tea, Court? What was that tea? That's mate, a little mate and a bombija. Little, little mate, a little bombija. It'll get you through to the next hootenanny, I'm sure. Uh, <laughs> So stay well, everybody. Iron, all the best out in your new adventure in Halifax. Great to see you, my friend. Bye, Iron. And Cohen, I can't wait to see you again. Can't wait to hear you again. <laughs> and Court, I'll probably run into you in the streets, so no, no sense of saying goodbye to you. Yeah, we'll see you soon. <laughs>